Hello guys, today I have a solution for your van move bike when it's not charging and uh, these problems are happening very often for me so I think is do the fact that these plugs are not proper for these bikes. These plugs usually you find them, I'm talking about the plugs where you plug your bike. These plugs you usually find them in um, laptops. So uh, in laptops they use 20 volts, 18 volts, 30 volts, but they use one amp. In the bike, when you charge your bike, it uses about 4 amp to charge. So, these are going often. So, I find a lot of modules having this problem. So, how to know that you have this problem? First of all, look at this. So it doesn't, doesn't take any resistance to put it in and nothing happens. So no charge inside, nothing. And it's very loose. So in normal conditions, this one should need some force to go in. As you can see, it comes out. Yeah. Keeps, keeps that in place and it doesn't have much play so if your module is playing and it takes no effort to take your plug out you have this problem how to know so look what happens when I press hard on it. Come on. Come on. So, when I keep pressing like this, come on, come on, come on, come on. Yeah. You can see it comes on and off. So I know this connection is loose. So how you solve this problem? Look. So this problem, you solve it very easily. I used to replace these, these charge, these charge plugs. But, you don't find good ones because most of the laptops have them and because it takes 4 amps, these, actually I'm going to put some pictures so you can see, these are very very soft, so I can see this is like uh, metal, but with the use Coming loose. So uh, today I'm going to show you how to fix this problem. So you take your screwdrivers, I think it's a T8 and T6. Actually, yeah, T5 or T, I don't know. They, <laughs> mine doesn't show because of use doesn't show any so is either T3 with T5 not really sure but you have to take it apart so you have again one here in the middle yeah and then eight on the sides so if you're 
bike show instead of uh, charge sign skeleton you need to watch the other video where I show you how to replace or charge your battery inside the unit but in this video I'm going to show you how to fix your plug so it's out of discussion to change the plug because I already changed few and they have the same problem again so first I'm gonna uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna put some pictures so take this apart and then you have the board you need to take this board out you're gonna have two three four five six seven I think seven screws that keep the board in place and then you have these three the faces and then these two is from the battery minus and plus this goes to your battery so let's take it apart so one out the faces take the faces out okay now we take the main mains out. We have our mains out. We have faces out. Okay. We have on the sides we have some plugs that needs to be disconnected. Take very care with these. Very hard to take it off. I use my nail but if you need a pry tool use a pry tool yeah I'm very good with my nails and now we take the board the screws that fix the board in place one two It's not nothing out of the ordinary. You just need to be very careful. I do a lot of these and I look like it is easy, but it's not. So take your time, don't rush like me. And pay attention not to bump anything on the board because it might ruin. It's a bit sticky, kiki, because you it has some pads underneath. After you take these, underneath you find two antennas here. So to know, you keep one on the side, on one on the other. So you know which is left, which is right. Okay. Underneath here. There's three plugs again. So I have one plug here, which will be good for you to stick some tape on it after you finish. So this one will just come out. And then two plugs here. One, two. So we have this off. We put this on the side. We have this off. So, what we do now? We know. I'm gonna put a video, uh, picture, so you're gonna see inside here. So, on this side, you're gonna see the bottom. This side here. We need to do something here. To manage to push the pin. So I'm going to use this tweezers, 
this has these are very good tweezers to make a hole in the center of these I'm gonna bring something to heat it up so I'm gonna heat these tweezers up see the flame but I'm hitting these tweezers like crazy after they're hot after they are hot I'm gonna poke a hole in the middle of this Once I pop the hole inside here, I can push that back in place. So, I have the hole and as I watch in this hole, I can see idea is to take this back into the position it was before. After you do this, you're going to see that this will hold better. Yeah. And then, as it is, You're going to see this light flash. So you have the proof that this now, oh, after you've done that, just in mind this one goes here. After you've done that hole oh, and you fit it, as you can see, that metallic sound. So now I know that this one works properly, properly. So after you've done the repair, before you fit this back, before you put it back in place, you need some uh, thermal grease. You can find these in laptop shop computer shop whatever you need to take the grease and put it on this pad so this pad here is a thermal pad once you remove it you might not have good contact with the heat sink and these MOSFETs here if you don't put thermal paste on will overheat and will create problems will burn, not create problems, burn, and your bike is bye-bye. So before you put this back, put some thermal paste either here or here. Spread it real good with thermal paste. So when you put this back, you will get good thermic contact. And you don't have any problem. So, thank you for watching. Please follow my other videos, I explain a bit more about these bikes. So before you put this back, put thermal paste, screw everything back together, make sure you don't bump any of these plugs. Before you put the plug in, just make sure the pins are straight, nothing bent. Same. When you put it back and then you're gonna have a working module normal
more errors. Thank you very much. Have a great day.